Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm just uh, finishing up some mittens and I thought I would share what my progress looks like and just do a little review of the, the pattern that I've been working on. This is the Da Merkin Mittens by Alison Randall from Shetland Islands and her pattern came out in I think Shetland Adventures uh, Volume 1 or 2 and um, I wanted to knit this for so long but I was really intimidated by the cuffs but as it turns out, it's, it's very simple to do, and it's super neat. It has some ribbing on the inside there, two by two ribbing, and it has this beautiful silver rose-like motif on the front, and on the back it has this beautiful houndstooth-like design, and I love the stripes on the little thumb here. So um, I learned a lot from knitting these mittens, and the one thing where I sort of wished I had done differently is I knit too tightly on this mitten and it really kind of puckered on the top. So I learned that just kind of keeping your gauge nice and loose helps you finish off the uh, pattern uh, so that uh, it uh, kind of has a, like a nice even rectangular shape, which is what I like the best. And then uh, for just for comparison, um, I'm now working on another pair of mittens uh, by Isolde and this is her Millet. Uh, mitten pattern and I just wanted to point out the difference in the cuff, the folded cuff. So in the folded cuff for her, she does a one by one rib on the inside, which I like better. And she doesn't do any decreases on the fold line. So it has a nice, uh, more clean finish. So um, if you are going to work on either pattern, in terms of the folding line for the cuff, I definitely like the technique in the Isolde pattern better. And um, the really cool thing about these mittens is that it is like working the crown of a feral hat um, um, on the uh, top of your mittens. My gauge got wider as my mitten grew. And for my second mitten, the gauge is even more loose. So my mittens kind of really ballooned out and they're just way too big for my hands. But there's plenty of room in there for just, you know, uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of positive ease in these mittens. I looked at the, the uh, photo and it, it does look like it was designed to have a lot of generous positive ease. So um, I still have my thumb to go, but this is kind of what it looks like right now. And then finally, I just thought I would show some hats that I had done in the past. Um, so you can kind of see how they uh, they match the same uh, colors as the as the mittens. So I'm starting to kind of grow this nice little collection of hats and mittens uh, with uh, some matching, uh, um, sorry, matching yarn. So these are super cool. If you want to check it out, I'll put uh, the names of the patterns below. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. And sorry, this wasn't the most beautiful setting in the world. I'm out here. Uh, in this beautiful park. It's just super pretty. This is a nature trail in our house. We're very fortunate to have access to really nice places to go walking. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.